One of the very interesting things about uh, this trip is uh, the change in scenery as we move uh, closer to KwaZulu Natal, where today we, we get there and uh, it seems that uh, we have a lot of rolling hills and, uh, and so um, yeah, we, it's, it's a bit uh, tough getting up those hills because we're already a bit tired and uh, feeling a little bit sore. But uh, then we, it's good to catch up, uh, you know, on the on the downhills. But it's very interesting, and also one of the key things uh, as we approach, uh, uh, you know, Peter Maritzburg is the traffic. You know, we don't have a lot of room on on the other side of the roads, so we have to be extra careful. And uh, you know, bearing in mind that we're getting a bit tired, like I said, it's uh, it's key to keep our focus and concentration. 2014, uh, it's, it's been a quite uh, challenging and eventful Unuguaja. Uh, we've had a few setbacks, uh, but uh, I think in, it's in these opportunities and with these challenges that uh, we show greater spirit and team spirit. And I think it's also a, an, an awesome opportunity for us as a team, as Unuguajas, to pull together and, and to show you know people watching at home that uh, we're together and uh, uh, you know uh, a group is stronger than you know the, the, the individuals. So uh, I think it's um, yeah it's it's a privilege to be at, at this uh, stage if you, if you will, and um, and I think uh, we'll get stronger as comrades approaches because uh, I'm also predicting personally that comrades is going to be a very uh, very stressful day. And as as a runner, I'm not a cyclist. As a runner. I predict it's going to be a very tough, very tough and long day for us. So, um, but one day at a time. And for me, it's a huge privilege to cross South Africa riding a bike. We started in Cape Town, a city, a big city with rich people, huge shopping centers, shopping malls, hotels, and then we cross it, going to small towns. We also cycling in the middle of nowhere. Uh, now we are in a place uh, with very, very poor people, and uh, we crossed some townships as well. It's a huge experience to, to look to the other side of the the country and uh, to, to learn uh, to learn with it. That's why we are here to, to make this country better. The thought of you know finishing in uh, KZN today, you know psychologically, I think it gives us uh, a boost. I mean we've come from the Western Cape through the Eastern Cape, and now we're gonna sleep in KZN. Yeah, psychologically it makes a huge difference. Good to finally cross over into KwaZulu Natal. Um, good in the sense that we are in the province of Comrades, but KwaZulu Natal has got hills as well. Eh? So it's been a really tough day. But yeah, glad to be here. It was a really nice surprise to link up with the guys from the local cycling club. Um, they brought us in and uh, we appreciate that. It was like just a little bit of oomph we needed at the end. There's, there, I think there's a sense of, of quiet descending on the team. Um, I don't think it's nervousness, I just think it's looking ahead to the next big thing. Because we've been on our bikes for a long time, I think we're finally used to the bikes and how. Uh, but uh, running is a totally different proposition, so I think people are starting to focus on that. We're going to start talking about it a little bit more. And obviously the stronger runners are going to start, uh, you know, kind of playing that role of reassuring everybody that uh, it's doable and we can get through it. Uh, personally, it's, uh, it's excitement for me because I absolutely love comrades. And uh, yeah, I'm more of a runner than a biker. So yeah, that's, that's uh, the excitement is looming for me, definitely.